Hello, everyone. Let me first check if uh, the connection and the sound is uh, OK with all of you. Uh, please send me an OK in the question box just to make sure that you all can hear me. Excellent. Thank you all for being here for uh, this uh, webinar. My name is uh, uh, Stefan Bubongatombe. I am uh, currently a field application scientist for uh, Telops. Today, I wanted to discuss with you our work on uh, infrared tracking of supersonic flying targets and the measurements of uh, surface temperature using uh, high-speed infrared imaging. I will try to fit within a 30-minute talk. After that, I will answer your questions. So please send me uh, the questions using the question box. I will uh, um, respond to it after the, the webinar. I will have a few minutes chat where I will go through all the questions and uh, respond to it. Or if um, the time don't permit it, I will gather all the questions and uh, do a kind of uh, question and answer box, uh, question and answer uh, documents uh, that will I will send to all of you guys so that everyone can benefit from your questions. You will also receive the recording of uh, this uh, webinar. Well, uh, TELOPS, actually, um, for uh, some of you who don't know TELOPS, TELOPS is a company founded in uh, 2000 in uh, Quebec City in Canada. Let me try to see if uh, the presentation will be going now. Yeah, Philips is a company founded in 2000 in Quebec City, in Canada. We are about 90 employees. We keep growing and growing. Uh, and the employees include includes PhDs, masters in engineers, and are shared between uh, uh, Canada, United States, China, and France. Here at Philips, we produce scientific instruments we design and uh, manufacture high performance, high spectral imaging systems, high speed and high definition infrared cameras. We also offer research and development services in order to meet specific uh, needs of uh, our customers. Our cameras can be classified in uh, four different uh, categories, including including two, uh, this, uh, two spectrally resolved cameras here, high spectral cameras with uh, high spectral resolution, user scalable between 0.2 to 150 centimeter minus one, and uh, multi-spectral uh, cameras, those here uh, with uh, uh, fast rotating spectral uh, wheel filters, splitting signal into different spectral bands and allowing uh, time resolved multi-channel imaging. And also um, broadband cameras, those two here, high speed cameras with uh, 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 up to 120,000 uh, 120, frames per second and high dynamic range uh, cameras allowing continuous acquisitions um, up to 2,500 uh, degrees Celsius. This year, we uh, released in our new catalog is a, a new series called uh, Tracking Hires Camera Series, and these cameras are very good for ranging and uh, and uh, higher tracking. This is long range infrared cameras that combines the characteristics of uh, our fast infrared cameras with uh, impressive ranging capabilities uh, in here. These cameras have integrating, integrated uh, motorized 
um, uh, uh, continuous zoom link with uh, um, uh, autofocus. Um, let me move just this in front of me uh, here with uh, uh, up to uh, um, with 30 to 660 millimeter focal length in autofocus, 18 degree to 0.86 um, in horizontal field of view. Uh, here. These cameras are very good, as I said, for higher tracking, for ranking. They are, they are available in uh, mid wave infrared uh, here from 3.6 to 4.9 micron or for, from three to five. They come with uh, VGA format detectors here. You can have the possibility to have a high speed uh, internal memory uh, here of uh, one, 16 and 32 gigabyte here. And um, as for all of our cameras, this uh, series also include four positions of uh, motorized uh, wheel filters here. And uh, uh, the camera is waterproof certified. Uh, IP67 uh, uh, here. Those uh, um, uh, um, uh, track IR series are extremely sensitive and allow uh, um, enable the detection of, of uh, uh, challenging targets, uh, ranging and uh, high distance uh, targets here. However, this uh, cameras was not av available at the time we did uh, the work I'm going to present today. So this work was not done using this uh, track higher cameras, but a normal um, uh, fast uh, infrared cameras, a normal uh, uh, M3K camera for all of you, or some of you knows our products. This uh, tracking higher our work I will be presenting today was done uh, using uh, this uh, uh, type of uh, uh, camera, M3K, with a normal uh, 200 millimeter uh, focal length without any auto focus here. If we talk about the markets here, the markets we are uh, also targeting here can be classified in four different categories. Uh, defense and security, national labs and institutions, universities, and uh, industry here. And this work I will be presenting today fit quite well in the uh, defense and the security category uh, in, in uh, here. We do a lot of uh, collaborations and we are constantly involved in a collaboration project with scientists uh, all around, around the world. The work I will be presenting today was done with uh, scientists at the uh, ISL which uh, is uh, which is a French uh, German research institute located at uh, Saint Louis in uh, France, and I would also like to acknowledge uh, the the uh, specialized image, imaging here who provide uh, us with uh, the trajectory tracker. Uh, here and uh, the scientists at uh, ISL at Saint Louis have uh, deep knowledge on uh, ballistic range uh, test and um, um, the, uh, those scientists and uh, uh, some of our collaborators at the specialized imaging was also present in uh, uh, and part of this uh, test campaign. Uh, here. The work we've done here with the measurement of uh, uh, flying. Uh, uh, projectiles and the measurements of uh, um, uh, flying projectile dynamic parameters is a growing interest uh, for space scientists, for, uh, for the Army, for uh, risk fundamental research uh, in here. Uh, the testing uh, items here is the trajectory measurements, including dynamic parameters such as the pose, the velocity, the trajectory, Mm, uh, of uh, that flying target, target here, there, and also the physics characteristics analysis, such as the heat distributions around the projectile, the pressure distributions uh, around the projectile, there, the magnetic field influence, uh, the luminous uh, 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 brightness, and uh, uh, all uh, many many physical uh, uh, parameters here. Infrared uh, tracking here is, would be a, a suitable measurement method because uh, infrared sensors are uh, 
are passive, they are non-contact, and in addition, uh, infrared images are objective and uh, are very informative here. Because uh, targets high maneuverability and uh, large cruise range here, the observation environment is extreme, including targets uh, change such as the pose, as I said, the shape of the target, depending on the target, can also change. Uh, here the scale can change, the motion blur, uh, the circumstances can change, such as the illumination and uh, the inclusions uh, of occlusions uh, here. But there are many and uh, many uh, tracking systems uh, here that allow the measurements of uh, those dynamic uh, parameters here, and most of uh, those uh, uh, tracking systems use uh, high-speed visible cameras uh, to retrieve those dynamic parameters here. But uh, those uh, um, uh, tracking system visible cameras will not allow, for example, the uh, measurements of uh, surface uh, temperature of, uh, uh, of uh, flying uh, targets when they use those uh, um, system with uh, those uh, visible cameras when it comes to temperature. For example, those temperature informations are mostly obtained uh, afterward using uh, some simulations uh, here. However, when it comes to supersonic uh, flying object, for instance, here as the velocity will increase the study of uh, projectile heat transfer dynamics with its environments uh, here is one of the index for accessing uh, the performance of uh, for example the guns uh, the bombs the cannons as well as the uh, thermal protection systems used for the planetary re-entry and earth mission, return missions uh, here and one of the challenge in ballistic heat transfer uh, here is the uh, uh, when your flying tra target is at supersonic velocity, one of the challenge here is, is the measurement of uh, surface temperature, and this surface temperature is uh, a critical parameters here used for the design of uh, the projectile materials, for the shape, and, um, and the being able to measure the in-flight surface temperature me measurement will give valuable insights to those uh, scientists, to those uh, uh, engineers involved in those projects of uh, designing uh, those uh, projectiles. There are a significant number of uh, simulations code which uh, are used to predict the surface uh, temperatures uh, for, a vari uh, for a variety of uh, conditions here, like in this example here where um, Yusuke Takashi and co author uh, uh, use uh, CFD simulations code uh, here to, stim to um, simulate and uh, to predict the uh, distributions around the um, atmospheric uh, of the reality demonstra demonstrator. Here you can see, let me move this. Uh, uh, here you can see. Uh, the, um, that the uh, 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 high temperature uh, here simulations uh, there and high temperature of the atmospheric here around this uh, reentry uh, um, uh, probe, um, probe uh, here uh, the heat transfer dynamic between uh, this uh, high temperature environment and the surface of, uh, uh, the the target here can then be obtained by solving. Uh, the heat conduction equations um, here, and once this uh, heat conduction equations uh, is solved, so you can then uh, uh, estimate the surface temperature of uh, your target and uh, the um, you know, propagation of the heat inside of uh, the target, like in uh, these uh, simulations uh, 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 here. Uh, simulations result here uh, done by. Uh, um, by uh, weighing and uh, co-authors where they simulated the surface temperature change um, uh, uh, with the time of uh, the flight on the rifle uh, projectile. As I said, there is a lot of uh, simulations, a lot of uh, CFD codes uh, here, but very little experimental data 
you know, that directly measure the temperature of uh, the surface temperature of those flying uh, objects and compare them with uh, uh, the the the, sim the simulations um, here. And, and as I mentioned a few slides uh, back, uh, here, here the equipment used uh, uh, for uh, tracking uh, uh, ballistics uh, um, uh, uh, objects here include um, include um, uh, uh, trajectory trackers, include uh, high-speed visible cameras, uh, as you can see here, include also uh, sun uh, screen on uh, the trajectory of uh, the, the targets uh, uh, here, and those uh, sky screen here uh, give uh, the uh, trigger to your uh, trajectory tracker, but also allow for any speed compensation if uh, needed uh, uh, during the tracking in here. This is the work done at uh, ICEL, uh, at the Institute of Saint Louis, uh, here, uh, where they use uh, uh, image processing algorithm here to uh, to uh, 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 obtain the positions uh, of the targets here, and then the dynamic parameters such as the pose, the velocity, and uh, the accelerations, as, as I mentioned a few slides. In this work, we wanted to show here that uh, one can use uh, um, infrared uh, uh, cameras here, infrared imagery here to um, to um, to um, do this work, and that infrared uh, cameras can give uh, um, uh, um, inputs. Uh, the same inputs you can have with uh, uh, visible infrared uh, with visible cameras here, but. Uh, um, infrared camera will give additional information on the uh, surface uh, temperature uh, of uh, the flying targets here. This was the purpose of uh, uh, the work here. And for the work, we use uh, uh, this uh, trajectory tracker from Specialized Imaging, as you can see uh, um, uh, here, uh, in this trajectory uh, tracker uh, uh, here, uh, 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 is include uh, low inertia silicon um, carbide mirror with fast uh, um, uh, mirror movements here of 1000 Hz with integrated uh, with integrated with our uh, high speed infrared camera with a built in uh, DC supply and a controlled uh, uh, control was done via standard one gigabyte per second uh, Ethernet cables here and uh, our uh, Telops M3K uh, camera was used here and uh, included inside of the uh, trajectory tracker uh, here. And we used for with that a uh, string ray optics um, 200 millimeter uh, uh, lens, as you can see uh, in, in here. Our uh, M fast M3K camera here is a high speed camera which allows up to um, 3,100 hertz um, or frame per second here in a, a full frame here uh, with a windowing. Uh, this camera can reach up to uh, 100,000 frame per second here. This is a mid wave infrared cameras from three to five microns. Mm, the detectors include uh, 320 by 260 pixels here with uh, an, uh, a high speed. Uh, uh, internal memory no, memory of 16 gigabytes and a four position motorized uh, wheel filter in here. The Rianchi uh, space probe here was uh, uh, designed and uh, made by uh, ISL by the scientists at the Institute of Saint Louis, Saint Louis there in France, and uh, uh, the, uh, the 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 diameter was uh, about uh, 80 millimeters and. Uh, 50 millimeters in height, and uh, the probe was designed to reach up to to two Mach numbers in here. The uh, the uh, probe here was uh, painted uh, in with high emissivity paint in order to minimize the reflections from the surrounding uh, objects here and measure only the heat distribution generated by the aerodynamics. 
the, the test, as I told you, was uh, conducted uh, at uh, uh, the ISL Open uh, Aerobalistic uh, Range facility, facility, which is located uh, about uh, uh, 25 kilometers from Saint Louis in France, in the middle of the hard sports here. This is an open range uh, certified for flat firing over a uh, maximum distance of um, uh, 1,000 meters, which is quite suffi sufficient for uh, a, a ballistic research purpose here. A par panoramic view of uh, uh, the site can be seen in uh, this slide. Uh, here, this is uh, uh, a, a land view here. This is the, um, the trajectory of uh, the targets. Um, you can see here in this, the skyscraper was put here, here, and here uh, along the, the trajectory of uh, uh, the, uh, the, the target trajectory here. We used uh, two um, uh, trajectory trackers here. One of them was uh, uh, on uh, uh, this side of uh, uh, the trajectory here and include uh, a visible high speed infrared camera and another. Uh, trajectory tracker was uh, on uh, this other side uh, here, and uh, uh, the infrared high speed infrared camera was uh, put on that trajectory tracker on this side um, here. The recorded uh, video uh, uh, with uh, visible and infrared are compared in uh, this slide. And in, uh, here, the tracker with the visible camera measured all the uh, target trajectory and the one with infrared camera measured only a part of uh, uh, the trajectory. But let me uh, stress here that this is just a matter of configuration. The space allocated to the tracker and the optical lens, but the uh, tracker with uh, infrared camera could also measure the whole uh, trajectory uh, here. On the visible uh, uh video this is the video visible video here if i play the, vis um, the visible video you can see the 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 the, the, tra um, the, the probe uh, here and you could see even uh, 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 shock waves here, here and uh, this is uh, uh, at the hand here where the probe is uh, uh, taken if i go back here you can see uh, uh, the firing uh, here at the beginning uh, uh, there, and um, uh, you can also see the separation uh, a little bit uh, further. Here you can see the separation between the probe and the surrounding petals and uh, the pusher plate. These are the, the, the petal, this is a pusher plate, and this is the probe here, uh, those uh, um, uh, 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 pusher plates and the surrounding uh, here was made to prevent the, ga the gas leaks from reaching the probe at the ignition uh, there. But when you play, and then when you play the video, you can see the shock waves uh, are developing here. You can see here, or for example, this uh, first harmonics and second harmonics of uh, those shock waves uh, here. The, um, uh, you can see one. Uh, those uh, shock waves. I don't know if you guys can see them very well here. The uh, the probe here, here was launched at uh, 1.9 Mach numbers. That's why you are seeing those uh, shock waves uh, in the, that visible uh, videos. There. The infrared uh, uh, um, uh, um, recording was done at uh, uh, 1,500 frames per second. And uh, if I play the infrared uh, video here, you can see. The, the, the track, the, uh, the probe will appear uh, here, and uh, uh, the tracking will be done. And during the tracking, you can also see some shock waves. There, you can see one of uh, them here in the infrared uh, images. There, uh, you can see uh, here again um, those shock waves here. Uh, there, you can. Uh, I keep playing, I keep tracking the, uh, the, the uh, with the infrared uh, uh, camera there. You can see uh, shock waves there again. You can see shock waves there. If I go back, you could even see those uh, first and second harmonics 
uh, there. This is the first and second harmonics. Let me go back a little bit. Uh, you can will see uh, those uh, uh, those uh, uh, all those harmonics uh, uh, that we see we saw in the, in the in the yeah. You can see the first and second harmonics. I don't know if you, this first and second harmonics uh, you could see in the visible uh, video. Uh, so this is very important to stress that this uh, this is the first time uh, this uh, 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 shock waves have been uh, uh, recorded with uh, an infrared cameras, and this is the first time we've done uh, this uh, uh, this work have been done with uh, infrared uh, uh, cameras. And uh, what is also important uh, here, here is uh, that we can could uh, measure the surface. Uh, uh, temperature of the uh, the probe, as I told you, if I play back the uh, the video, the infrared uh, video here, you can see the heat distribution uh, at the front of uh, uh, the probe. Uh, there, when the probe will appear, and here you can you will see, and I will even show you in the next slide uh, there uh, that the uh, you can see the distribution of uh, the probe. Uh, this temperature distribution, uh, you can uh, yeah you can see it uh, pretty much well here that the temperature here on the front of the probe is higher than on the back of the probe. In the next slide, I will zoom on here and you will be able to see it. You can also see that the temperature at the very front of the probe here is uh, different here and different from there. That uh, temperature distribution on the surface of the sample can only be obtain uh, 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 using an infrared cameras here and this is due to the uh, aerodynamic uh, and this is due to the aerodynamics in induced heating on the surface of uh, uh, the probe uh, then let me play that video again mm, you can really see that the temperature on the front here is higher than the temperature on the back here uh, and, and that uh, distribution uh, is very interesting uh, here and it's due to the 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 that uh, aerodynamics uh, inducing heating uh, there so it's very important here to stress that with this uh, uh, infrared uh, imagery uh, we are capable of um, providing the same informations uh, obtained with uh, um, uh, high speed visible cameras uh, I mean, one can use this video as I will show you later to to um, have those dynamic parameters. But we can, and ad additionally, here also have the uh, surface temperature, uh, which are not available with uh, with uh, the inf with a visible uh, uh, camera. So there, and also another advantage is that uh, um, um, higher sensors are not are affected by the weather conditions at night or under low light illumination you can still have sensitive data and collect uh, uh, useful information uh, in, in here this is the uh, image extracted from uh, that video where you can see that uh, uh, shock wave more clearly there and uh, the back and front uh, of the probe and the temperature profile uh, uh, here you, uh, you can see that uh, uh, this is that shock wave there. This is the probe. Uh, this is the zoom of this uh, here. The probe here, you can see that the temperature here is higher than the temperature there, and it's higher than the temperature at the back of the probe here. And if you see the uh, the temperature profile extracted uh, from uh, from uh, this uh, uh, this probe here, plotted uh, on these graphs here as a, a function of uh, the time this is the temperature on the back of uh, the, the probe and this is the temperature on the front of uh, the, the probe there the temperature profile measured here are consistent with the simulations done by UAing I showed you a few slides back that decreasing um, in, uh, decay here is a very consistent uh, here except uh, that on the front of uh, the probe here as you can see in in this graph here, you have some uh, uh, features uh, here which are uh, generated or which are due to the interactions um, between the probe and the shock waves uh, uh, here. And what uh, you can see here are uh, CFD simulations. 
uh, here using the uh, same type of uh, uh, probe uh, here where you can see a, a, a temperature increase in the front of uh, uh, the probe but again you need to uh, to solve uh, the um, heat conductions equations uh, to evaluate uh, how this uh, heat on the front of uh, uh, the, the probe is uh, uh, transferred inside of the probe and propagate in the, inside of the probe in order to be able to uh, to to have the surface temperature of uh, the probe. If you want to measure the or compare the measurements and the experiments, uh, additionally to those uh, CFD simulations, you need to to solve that heat conduction equations I showed you a few slides back. So in this work here, we observed a uh, continuous decrease of uh, 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 surface temperature at uh, the back of uh, the probe. It's this curve here, it continues decrease uh, here and up to uh, seven degree uh, temperature difference between the front uh, and the back of uh, the probe. And uh, we also saw increase of uh, temperature on the front uh, each time uh, a shockwave is uh, appearing. You can see those bumps here, we see those increase here. Uh, um, we obtain the, them or we saw them each time we have a shockwave appearance in the, in the video. Again, those uh, analysis and those uh, 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 dynamics, you can only retrieve them when you, having, when you have an infrared camera so that you can really directly measure those uh, uh, surface uh, the same surface temperature. Uh, we we did uh, measurements at uh, uh, a lower Mach number here because the result I showed you of, uh, uh, one slide back was done at 1.5 Mach number. We also did measurements at 1.3 Mach numbers, and uh, here is the the com comparison between uh, those measurements. This is at low. Mach number is a high, high Mach number. If I play uh, this video, uh, I play this other video again, you can see um, that, uh, uh, for example, at low Mach number, the temperature increase at the surface of the probe. You can see uh, it here, it's uh, relatively low compared to the one you saw one slide back or compared to this one uh, here. Yeah, and then the, uh, this is because the velocity is uh, uh, quite low here. Uh, uh, that, that's why this uh, um, this aerodynamic induced uh, uh, temperature increase is low in uh, that uh, uh, video at uh, 1.3 compared to the video at 1.9 Mac numbers. And uh, this graph also uh, showed the uh, uh, extracted um, temperature increase uh, between uh, uh, at the front of the probe between this video and this video. This is 1.3 and this is 1.9. Uh, you can see that the temperature increase here is higher here uh, than in, uh, in uh, here, here. One can also do the fitting here to uh, extract the uh, heat exchange characteristics time um, uh, here and uh, do a little bit more deeper science uh, here. For example, for the overall cooling, when I say the overall cooling is uh, uh, this all cooling uh, here using the, 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 the video at 0.9 and 1.9. Uh, 1.9 and 1.3. Here you can see uh, different cooling uh, characteristics, uh, time characteristic. Uh, here using this uh, exponential uh, fitting, uh, fitting there. But also with uh, uh, the uh, with the sorry with the uh, interaction with uh, the shock waves here interaction with the shock waves uh, here, I mean, this cooling here and this cooling here, you can also extract the cooling dynamics. I mean, here for the uh, vid video at, at 1.9 uh, uh, Mach number, here one had uh, 5.3 millisecond and uh, 4.7 millisecond. Uh, here one had to use two exponential uh, feeds here and for the Mac for the uh, 1.3 Mac numbers or, or 8.6 milliseconds. 
and this uh, once you've extracted those uh, 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 exchange characteristics times uh, you you can uh, yeah start to do uh, science uh, here and uh, use them as uh, uh, inputs here for um, um, for uh, some of the simulations methods here and this can provide valuable uh, insight to engineers and scientists as I said that study the heat exchange dynamics here and uh, you know, that are involved in the uh, material fabrication process uh, and, here, and here and what we've seen uh, here is that the the um, at higher temperature, uh, uh, what have higher uh, temperature increase at a uh, higher Mach number, as you have seen in uh, uh, those uh, two graphs uh, here, but also that the cooling uh, here is, uh, cooling dynamic is faster at higher Mach uh, number of velocity. When you compare these uh, characteristics I'm here, the cooling, uh, overall cooling is faster when the Mach numbers is uh, higher compared to uh, when the Mach number is uh, lower is here. All those uh, you know, parameters are, as I say, can, are really useful for, for your scientists uh, and engineers that design uh, those materials and uh, and uh, and, and uh, uh, reality uh, uh, probes uh, in here. Now for the for the dynamic uh, parameters of uh, the trajectory, as I uh, told you. Um, uh, a few slides back here one can uh, extract also those parameters here from uh, infrared videos uh, here for example by uh, doing uh, uh, dynamic flow analysis here using Canada uh, Lucas Tunasi um, uh, and also Kalman filtering and uh, Ulgarian uh, algorithm here to extract the velocity maps here of the the the, the targets and what acceleration maps also can be extracted uh, here and used to predict the uh, tragic uh, the, the target trajectory uh, here. But also the analysis of uh, heat transfers between uh, heat transfer between the targets and uh, the shock waves can also give indications on uh, dynamic parameters here. For example, each time you saw that each time the uh, the, 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 the the target uh, um, uh, each time the uh, one have a shock wave um, you have a temperature increase. But what we saw is also that the the the, tra the target is a little bit uh, uh, slowed and uh, the, the the pause time can be also be extracted uh, from there and the dynamic parameters can also be extracted from there by doing dynamic flow analysis for for example you can extract some velocity uh, maps um, uh, uh, as you can see in uh, uh, this video here, this uh, uh, red, this uh, red arrow, which are velocity vectors of uh, different orientations and uh, different magnitude here that can directly be obtained using doing that dynamic flow analysis uh, uh, here. And uh, doing the same here, the the, uh, the velocity maps can be obtained, but also the acceleration maps can be obtained, and uh, uh, this can allow to to predict, uh, as I said, uh, uh, the trajectory and um, have all those dynamic parameters here. So, yeah, one can uh, um, and have uh, the same parameters we had with uh, uh, we we have with uh, uh, visible uh, uh, high speed cameras, but with the additional uh, bonus of having the surface temperature here. Now we'll come to the conclusion, and uh, I hope I, I convince you that uh, with uh, high sensitive infrared imagery, uh, imagery, with high temporal resolution and high spatial resolution, uh, this is an important tool for ballistic tracking. Uh, you can use uh, with, uh, this, uh, uh, new, uh, this uh, new um, uh, um, series we just launched with this motorized uh, uh, lengths uh, here, the track IR series, but uh, this work was done with uh, M3K with uh, 200 millimeter uh, focal lengths. Uh, we successfully tracked the Rionti space probe at ballistic velocities to 1.9 and 1.3 uh, 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 Mach numbers and observed if 
important phenomena such as shock waves. Here, uh, this is the first time this was done, and uh, those uh, uh, shock waves and the surface temperature uh, dynamics also was analyzed. We could uh, do some fittings to take some cooling parameters uh, uh, here that can be uh, uh, very useful for a deep understanding of uh, this this uh, heat uh, transfer heat dynamics between the probe and uh, and uh, and uh, its environment, um, also the dynamic parameters such as the velocity and acceleration can be obtained using, for example, dynamic flow analysis. Here, as I showed you, and the unique features uh, uh, of our TELOPS cameras, such as high frame rates, make them uh, unique cameras here um, to bring the ballistic uh, uh, tracking and research at the next level. As I told you that, uh, yeah, um, um, sometimes it's good to have both of them visible and infrared, but uh, um, this, uh, inf using these uh, uh, infrared cameras will, be, uh, will give you the possibility to have all those parameters there. I will uh, leave you with this uh, uh, slides of uh, our teams in case you have any questions, you have any project you, you want to uh, uh, do with us, uh, just uh, shoot us an email and uh, we will respond to you. I will stop the, the talk now and take uh, your question, your talk, your question, take your questions. I will stay here for the next uh, uh, 20 minutes to chat with you guys and to uh, respond to your your questions. And if I didn't get back to uh, to you today, I will, uh, as I said at the beginning of the talk, uh, gather all your questions and do a, a um, question and answer documents that I will send all of you along with the recording of uh, this uh, this uh, webinar. Thank you very much. Let's go to the church and uh, let's uh, um, uh, uh, send me all the questions you have and I will get back to you. Hey guys, as I, as I said, I'm still here for the next uh, um, uh, 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 20 minutes. So if you have questions, uh, please keep sending it and uh, I will go through it, uh, respond to you to a one by one basis. But uh, again, I will also gather all the questions and send you the all the answers in a separate document.
Hi guys, if you're still there, I'm still here answering the questions. Uh, please keep sending me those questions and uh, I'm responding to a one by one basis. So if you're still there, please keep sending the questions and uh, um, yeah, if uh, in the next uh, six, uh, seven or eight minutes I haven't gone back to you yet, I will still do a um, question and uh, answer document that I will send to all of you. So please keep sending me questions. I'm still here.